Hey guys, welcome to Flat Top King. Hey, today I think I've got a really fun one for you. We're going to teach you a couple things today, right? Grilled steak burrito on the griddle. It's about to go down. All right, through the process, I've learned and learned and learned that you guys are basically a sponge for knowledge. And this is one of the very few times I can give you a little trick to help your food go from here to here. I can't believe it's taken us this long to do it, but you have to find the right reason to do it. Today is no different. The idea, we're just gonna make a massive burrito, put all your favorite toppings on there. The kicker is the rice. So we're kinda splitting up the video and show you a really cool way to up your flavor for rice. Now, the rice can be used like this in any method. Rice pilaf, you name it. As long as you don't get the packaged rice where the seasoning's already mixed up in there, you're good to go. As long as you have a solid, flavored rice or the rice seasoning packet is separate, you're going to be fine. We're going to toast the rice and char the onions, which is going to, ins oh, the flavor is just out of this bounds. Out quick, of this bounds? Out of this bounds? I told you it's good. So this is the deal. Let's do a quick rundown of ingredients. It seems like a lot, but it's not, honestly. All right. First things first, talking about the rice. I got white long grain rice. I'm going to add a little bouillon. I'm gonna to cheat today and add a little salsa. We're gonna char those onions, like I said, and uh, add a little bit of uh, taco seasoning. Listen, I know it's not traditional. The point is, by the time you add your tomato sauce, your onions, your peppers, your cumin, your paprika, your peas, your carrots, you're already halfway, you're, I mean, you're already there, right? Just cheat a little bit, add a little salsa, and you get a lot closer faster, all right? We've got just a uh, steak that we found on sale. This happens to be a T-bone. Trust me, you can use sirloin. You can use a flank steak, skirt steak. It doesn't matter. It's just what we found. I'm gonna warm up some uh, whole pinto beans. Warm up some of my queso dip. I love queso dip on a big burrito like this. All right, we got some uh, Sure Shot Sid's gunpowder. It's got like a charcoal flavor, right? So anytime you put something on the flat top, you miss that charcoal flavor. This is going to get us there. Once again, I'm gonna cheat a little bit with some taco seasoning. And we just got your standard pico and avocado. Uh, pico and avocado, uh, guacamole. There we go, that's what happens when you mix it together. Sounds like a lot, but it's super easy. You guys ready? All I'm gonna do is warm up the cheese sauce and the pinto beans on the flat top. We're using our black stone today. I'm going to head, go ahead and get that started, season our meat, and then we'll get back to the rice. All right, per package instructions, this is going to be one cup of rice to two cups of water. So I'm going to hold the rice there, and we're going to start sauteing it on the flat top. So I've just basically got a little bit of onion. That's probably too much for what I need. I'm not trying to kill it with onion. Just a simple small dice will get you there. Something like that, okay? Start charring that onion. With that rice. Now what you're looking for is like a toast. You wanna to turn the color of the rice. I'm telling you the depth of flavor is out of bounds. In the Navy we used to do this. I think you guys really liked my uh, rendition of pepper steak. So this is one of the secrets that we had, maybe just a touch more. See how the rice is already starting to brown, you see that? Mm -hmm. You do see that? How the onions are getting charred already? Mm. While that's going, we're gonna start building our sauce. Two cups of water. We're gonna hold, so that's about a half. It says two cups of water. Remember, anytime you add more moisture, you gotta back it off with something else, right? So if you wasn't adding salsa or anything like that. So this is just a cheat method. So half a cup of salsa, and it was about one and three quarter cup of water. Correct. I'm gonna add just a little bouillon. You can add chicken, beef, vegetable. I'm gonna say a little bit, uh, about a tablespoon. Bouillon. I'm gonna hit it with just a touch of taco seasoning. Maybe half a teaspoon. 
Yeah, I mean, even a teaspoon. I mean, all right. All right, see how much color he picked up now? That's what I'm talking about. You can actually smell it. Now we're gonna let the rice cooker do its thing. And you're gonna have some really good flavorful rice before you know it. While our rice is cooking, I'm just gonna season our uh, T-bone up today. Hit it really good with that charcoal flavored. Kind of like the idea of including like a carne asada in a way. A little touch of taco seasoning. And we're gonna do it on both sides. Just throw a little avocado oil down. Ooh. Look, nothing special, nothing crazy. Not exactly what I wanted to do. You get the idea. Ooh. I'm using the griddle just like you would a hot spot on the stove, right? I've moved my beans from the corner where it's cooler to the hot spot of my griddle, and now you can see my beans are starting to come up to boil. That's what I'm looking for. All right, you're gonna cook the steak to what temperature you like it. We're gonna shoot for like a medium rare. It does not take long. It actually takes quicker than what you expect. All right, rice is still cooking. It's important to let your meat rest, so it's perfect timing. By the time this gets done, your steak would have rested. I'm gonna go ahead and clean the flat top and get ready to warm up our big old burrito tortillas. All right, I know it seemed like a lot at, at the beginning just because I was trying to introduce the idea of what we're doing, but honestly, it's once you break it down to each individual piece, it's super easy. All we did was warm up our beans and our cheese sauce on the griddle, right? The longest thing that we did was make rice. It's still cooking. Our meat has rested. We're almost to the point to pull the rice. Our meat is rested. And that's really about it. Man, you could feed a huge family. You can introduce chicken, other proteins. You can do assembly line. It's like going to your favorite burrito shop, right? You go up to the counter. You got to pick and choose what you want. And that's the great thing about a griddle. Um, the Be able to mass produce food. You can host parties with it. Whatever. All right. Here we go. I'm just gonna cut ours in chunks. Look at all those charred bits on there. Mm, 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 mm. Got a little filet. Now remember when you're cutting your steak or your proteins, your burrito is only so big. So you gotta make sure that you match the hatch, right? You don't want too big of pieces. And you probably don't wanna leave it in strips either because then when you're taking a bite, like you could pull out a whole big old strip. Let me gnaw on that bone. <laughs> you said that on purpose. <laughs> All right, the rice cooker is done. I will say this. It might look old and ratty, as it is, because it's been with us for what, 16 years? It was a wedding present. We've tried to link it before, but we can't find it. I would encourage you that if you don't have a rice cooker, you're on the fence or the verge or thinking about it, I mean, I think they're incredibly easy. They can hold uh, sauces, you know, you can warm up. We make fondues out of them, anything. So they're very versatile. I'm just gonna fluff up my rice. Look at that. Look how good that rice looks. Golly, that looks good. Right? All right, just a recap, you know, we toasted that rice, we charred the onions all together, add a little salsa, a little bit of taco seasoning, some bouillon. Mm. Mm. Let the rice cooker do its job. Mm. Not overpowering, you pick up the flavors. Oh, There's a nuttiness good. about, I told you. Mm. All right, here we go. All right, I'm gonna try to build these exactly the same so here we go. How you want to build this? Let's think about this. Rice. Woo, that's hot. All right, the hardest thing to do when you're making a burrito is, is uh, overfill it. You don't want to overfill it. 
So we're going with a little rice. Some of those beans. Hit it with some of that steak. A little fresh pico. A little fresh guac. Some sour cream. Mine's gonna have a little hot sauce. And last but not least, don't forget, some of that cheese sauce, you can use shredded cheese. All right, here's the trick. Wings, right? V, up and over, grab the ingredients, back, left, right. Just like that. Now we're gonna put that on the flat top and start grilling it. All right, the flat top's just barely on low. Warm it up after I cleaned it, seam side down. Oh yeah, see that grill? That's what we're doing, just grilling our burrito, just lightly oil. And just do it all the way around. All right guys, look, I've just been rolling it back and forth, just grilling it on the sides, just like that. Now look, if you wanna get very, very technical, you can throw some cheese down make like a cheese crust on top of it that would just throw it over the top. I didn't feel like doing that today. A little over my flavor zone right now. All right, guys, there you go. Super easy. I, I mean, I don't, know. I don't know about easy. I thought it was easy. I know one thing. You got the meat, the rice, the beans, all that. Mm. Mm. Heaven. I love these dang things. Take a big old bite. Save some for me now. <laughs> mm. I just like the addition of a grilling tortilla. Mm. I just mm. think it adds flavor. The rice pops out, mm. right? A little bit of spice hits you, not too much. Mm. You get the creaminess. Mm. Fantastic. And you can do it a thousand different ways. That's what's great about these recipes. If you guys are interested, we have a join button down below. It's so way you guys can help out the channel, behind the scenes, extra videos. You guys get like first look at some of the videos we do. Last but not least, if you haven't checked out The Girdle Group on Facebook, it's where we get inspiration, where you guys share your stories back and forth. It's where we communicate with you guys. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to press that subscribe button, pound the notification button, share it with your friends. Grilled burrito, going the extra mile, doing the extra little bit here and there. Mm. Oh, good. Mm. It is good. Mm, okay.